Today we're going to take a look at the market statistics for the Estes Valley for February 2021. Let's get started. Hi, it's Jeff Abel with the Abel Team Keller Williams Realty here in beautiful Estes Park, Colorado. And today we're going to take a look at the market statistics for February 2021. Now these numbers are for the entire Estes Valley and the first thing we're going to take a look at are single family residences. So in February 2021 we had 52 active listings on the market. That's down 34% from the 79 that we had back in February of 2020. Uh, month to date listings sold. We were down actually from 14 to 13 so not a big difference there over last year. And then our year to date sales are down about 20% from 39 last year uh, in January and February to 31 this year. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is the median home price for single family residences. And so uh, this February, we were actually up about 25.3% on the median home price. Uh, last year it was 447,000 in February. This year it was $560,000. And then year to date, so January and February combined, we were up from 463,000 up to 532,000 year to date. The next number we wanna look at is average days on market. And so the homes in February, average days on market was 61 days. And then year to date, again, we're looking at about 82, which is down from 106. So about a 23% drop in average days on market so far in 2021. The last number we want to look at for single family homes is just our volume. And that's the total dollar amount of the value of homes sold. And so for February, we were up about 12.7% over last February. And year to date, we're down about 15%, just under 15%. Uh, and that's just, again, a lack of inventory available. It's definitely not a lack of demand. So that's the numbers for our single family homes here in the Estes Valley. The next thing we're going to look at are attached dwellings. Okay, so our attached dwellings, and these are condos and townhomes. Uh, we're going to look at the active listings, which was down from 51 last February to 17 this February. So about a 67% decline in the number of available homes uh, in the attached dwelling category. Uh, Month-to-date listings sold, uh, we were at 10 which is up 25% from last year, which was eight in February. And then our year-to-date listings were up about 20%. So we were up from 15 last January and February to 18 this January and February. So we're definitely seeing uh, those um, attached dwellings, the condos and townhomes selling faster and a little bit higher rate than we did last year. The next thing we want to look at in the attached dwelling category is our just median prices. And so uh, monthly February, those median prices over last February are up about 24%. So from 360 up to 445,000 for uh, median price for townhomes. And then year to date, we're up from about 370 this time last year uh, through February to 435 this year. So again, uh, demand is driving those prices up. And I think what we're seeing also is some of maybe more of those higher end condos selling, which is skewing that median home price a little bit. The next category we want to look at is just the average days on market. And so average days in market in February of this year was 41. Uh, year to date, we're right at about 41, per, 41 days on market again. Uh, that's down from 109 last year. So a significant reduction in days on market in the townhouse condos. And some of that is being driven because the lack of availability of single family homes. We have more people looking at the townhome condo option, as well as some of the vacation rentals are driving that uh, quick sale as well. As I mentioned, the condo market is, is increasing and being driven pretty hard this spring. And so in February, our month over month volume was up about 70% over last February, again, because uh, units are up and also because that median home price is up in that category. Year to date, as far as volume, we're up about 62% as well. So even though we're seeing a decrease in the volume of single family residences, we're in turn seeing an increase in the volume of the condos and townhomes being sold. Uh, just because there was a little bit of inventory there 
um, but it is going quickly as well. Uh, days on market are dropping significantly. So uh, that's where we are with the attached dwellings. So that's a quick recap of the market report for the Estes Valley in February 2021. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have additional questions, be sure to hit us up in the comments or give us a call. We'd love to be a resource and answer all of your real estate questions about Estes Park and the surrounding communities. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit like and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'd love to make sure you're getting information as you need it. And if you would like a monthly market report sent to your inbox, be sure to check out the description. There is a link in there where you can register and we'll email that to you once a month. Uh, those are super helpful and I think you'll enjoy that as well. Also, if the video was helpful, be sure to check out one of these over here for some more helpful tips and information about the real estate market here in Estes Park. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.